What challenges are you facing in your current career that leave you feeling drained or unhappy? Have you thought of getting a solution to this kind of fatigue that you experience? What made you passionate about your career in the beginning? And do you still connect with that purpose? When I ask this second question, many of you, many of the mid-career professionals, those who are feeling stuck, they really uh, get to think and uh, they realize that the dream has been long forgotten. Is there a simple daily practice such as meditation or mindfulness that could help you reset and gain clarity? Do you at all believe that such a, such a possibility is there? Not many people trust the process of mindfulness or meditative state. Why? Because how can such a small and simple thing bring uh, simplicity or uh, remedy to their already very complex lifestyle? So here is a story of Dora, a 33-year-old primary school teacher who had always been passionate about education. Nine years into her career, she found herself standing in the crossroads of purpose and burnout. When she first started teaching, her dream was to inspire the young minds. But over time, the relentless demands of her job began to take a toll. Each day felt heavier and the joy she once felt was slowly being replaced by exertion. Dora felt emotionally drained, overwhelmed, and as though she was no longer making the impact she had envisioned. Do you identify yourself with this kind of situation? What do you do next? Let us see what Dora did. One morning, after a particularly difficult week, a colleague mentioned a simple practice that had transformed her life meditation. The idea seemed almost too simple. How could five minutes of silence help someone like Jora, who felt like she was drowning in the noise of daily responsibilities? Do you have five minutes to change your day? Her colleague asked. Skeptical but curious, Jora decided to give it a try. She found a quiet for a corner in her classroom before the school day began, closed her eyes and focused on her breath. At first, her mind raced, lesson plans, student concerns, the endless to-do list. But slowly, as she breathed deeply, she felt her body began to relax and the noise faded away. That five minutes became a daily ritual. Over time, Dora realized that the simple act of meditating each day didn't just calm her mind, it gave her clarity. The exhaustion she had felt started to dissipate and with it came a renewed sense of purpose. In those quiet moments of meditation, Dora began to reflect on why she had become a teacher in the first place, to make a lasting impact, right? She realized that her passion for education could be channeled into something bigger, environmental education. She saw an opportunity to turn her emotional energy into action by integrating sustainability into her, into her teaching. What if she could inspire her students to care for the planet just as she had dreamed of inspiring them to learn? With newfound clarity and purpose, Nora embarked on a mission to create an eco-curriculum for her school. She introduced programs like student run gardens where children could learn about nature by growing their own vegetables. She initiated waste reduction campaigns and helped her school implement eco-friendly policies. Jura's passion for environmental education reignited her love for teaching and she saw the spark of excitement in her students' eyes as they embraced those new projects. So through meditation, Dora found balance and clarity, transforming her burnout into a force for good. She was no longer just a teacher. She was a mentor, guiding the next generation towards a future where sustain, sustainability and education went hand in hand. And 
With each passing day, she felt more fulfilled, knowing that her work was not just impacting her students, but also the world they would inherit. Dora's journey showed her that the sum time, all it takes is five minutes of mindfulness to change not just your day, but your life's very soon. So why did I tell this story to you? Is because it is very, very simple, easy, and doable to adopt an eco-friendly way. And it renews your people. And while you do simple acts of like gardening, growing your vegetables, just planting a tree, planting a sapling, planting a small piece of whatever, greenery into your garden. It just takes a minute. But it takes a lot of focus into that particular activity. You will then start buzzing about what can these small things could do for the greenery of the planet, how to uh, reduce carbon footprints in the planet. But you know, every, every big journey starts with a small step. That is the clue, that's the trick. And unless you meditate, focus somewhere in your mind, you will not get that idea. It is so simple, but it escapes your attention, it escapes your daily routine. It will not find a way to your daily routine, which can bring you immense possibilities, immense uh, benefit to your mindset. The most important thing is it reduces stress. So what future are we envisioning? If we are thinking that something great will happen in the future, it should be seeded in the beginning right now. And what better than to adopt a eco-friendly way and it starts with your focus because your focus right now into what eco-friendly way you can only decide. You, if I talk about balcony garden, we'll see I don't have any place to keep a plant. That is quite possible. If you are living in Bombay, I cannot tell you that you will have a balcony. But you might have a window where you can hang a bottle. I'm just suggesting you have to find your green spot in your in their house on how to cultivate greenery into your living space. That is your thing. There, there can be a lot of indoor plants as well. So, unless you meditate on this, think about this, be curious, conscious of adopting green lifestyle, it's not possible to adopt them with somebody else's solution. It is your choice, your solution. So try this. This will not take more than five minutes. Thinking about greenery and meditation are the same thing for me. Experience it, explore it, and experiment with it to find this out. Let us start. And thank you for watching.